Alrighty YouTube, another one of Kip's Clips. So a bit of an update, um, if you watched my last video, you'd have seen at the end there that BBC was reporting Yanukovych has been, um, seek, uh, seeks Russian protection and he's been spotted in a Russian hotel. Let's see if this is backing up what they said. Uh, Yanukovych has requested Russian protecting, protection and they will give it to him because, well, I'll explain that. Um, Following his ousting as president of Ukraine, says Russia's news agency. I still, I, st I still see myself as the legitimate head of Ukraine state, elected by Ukrainian citizens in a free vote. He was quoted as saying, but well, it's true. <laughs> he was quoted as saying, but uh, he said he needed protection from the actions of extremists. Mr Yanukovych fled Ukraine and protesters, as pro protesters clashed with security services in the capital last week. No confirmation was given to as... Mr. Yanukovych eats whereabouts. So, verbally they said that he was spotted in a Russian hotel. Then it's changed to this. Let's see, that was updated at half ten um, at the, the the radio that I'm listening to. Because <coughs> I don't have a TV licence. I'm listening to Radio 5 Live. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, told me and it was BBC, Radio 5 Live, um, said that he was spotted at a Russian hotel, but then he changed the story. So whether that's true or not, who knows? Um, this is the latest from there. RT will not probably be reporting this. Let's see. Um, let's see RT spin on it. Well, something's going on with RT. Something weird's going on with RT. What the hell's that? That's not what I want. On the homepage. RT's mucked up. Yanukovych says he's still present. Let's see this. This sounds like the same story. Yeah, let's do a side by side. No, nope, that's the wrong one. It's a bad boy there. Uh, Yanukovych. Oh, this is a we. Let's check time on standpoint. This bad boy. I hate it because they put it in Russian. I, I reckon. Ten fifty-three. If that's GMT. That was a few, that's like what, a couple of minutes ago, but it was out at 10 bells, updated 50 minutes, so I it would have been breaking news at 10 bells. So that looks like GMT to me. Right, so let's see what the Ro Ruskies are saying. Yanukovych still considers, considers himself legitimate leader of Ukraine and warns against an inter, inter, internal military conflict, according to a statement. He also asks Russia to ensure his safety against the actions of extremists that took power in Ukraine. Like something like needs to be pointed out, Ukraine's as as far as I understand it, Ukraine's army is made up of people from certain areas of Ukraine and it tends to be uh, evenly evenly split split between pro and not pro Russian people. Now the army's been stood down all this time. They were told to stood down. They did stand down through the throughout the whole prote protests. Now Yanukovych is coming out and warning about an internal struggle while Russia is bringing forces on war drills next to the thing, mate. They're mobilising troops next to the border. Full stop. Let's not start letting RT, BBC create our narratives. Let's say what we see, man. Um, where was I? Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, Yanukovych, according to a statement, he also asked Russia to ensure his safety against the actions of extremists he took, uh, that took power in Ukraine. On the streets of many cities of our on our country, extremist thieves, um, threats of bodily harm are thrown uh, at me and my collaborators. I'm forced to ask Russian authorities to ensure my personal security against the actions of extremists, he said. Now, but I want to point out something as well. See the bull crap? <clears throat> oh, the crap um, stuff that we're looking at. Look at this extravagant house! Now, this guy may have embellished uh, God knows how many billions of money, dollars, so on and so forth, right? I'm not saying he's a good guy. What I'm saying is his house was no bigger or worse than the houses and the the, the, the places that he hides a state of everybody's countries bounce about in. That may have been his bought and paid for and they might have been claiming it and it was extravagant and stuff. But... It's kind of, the, 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 the emperor, what's the, what's the good expression? The emperor has got no clothes on, right? So you can't, the, the hypocrites are just, 
the can he, it's like the pot the, 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 it's like the kettle calling the pot black and that's no racist it's a British saying is that worldwide who knows uh, but <laughs> um, it's ridiculous the, the veil has slipped Russia's slipped this is what I'm talking about with the PR the PR war the info war Russia's sucked the West into exactly where they've got want them the West can't say anything about Russia now because it's just like well you do it Torture! Well, you do it. Guantanamo. Here's all the pictures. Russia's pictures, haven't they made it in the front page yet of torture? Because I'm, I'm not saying the Ruskies are good, man. Uh, and I would say the aggressor right now is the West and NATO powers. To be honest with you, I'm not saying either side's good, man, but I'm trying to point people out the bullshit that's coming through all di directions. Uh, the south east of the country and the Crimea don't acknowledge the mayhem in Ukraine, in which under leaders are chosen by the crowd. Uh, he's quoted the state, and Yanukovych also said that he hadn't ordered the U hadn't ordered the, the Ukrainian army to interfere in the internal political events, and he doesn't order it now. The statement reads: So are the army is the army came out and still said who they're taking orders for. That's very interesting. Let's see if someone gave such orders to the armed. Or security forces, these orders would be illegitimate criminal, Yanukovych stated. That's very true, right? Because let's break it down what's happened. They've reverted to the 2004 constitution, and in the 2004 constitution, to impeach that guy, the guy needs to be in parliament. They can't, they can't not impeach him when he's not in parliament. Last time he was in parliament, he was president, so he's still president, or pr prime minister, or whatever, however they bloody well wrangle it. I think it's president. The 2004 moves it more to a parliamentary system and less of a presidential system, but I think the president still exists. See, you need to look into this stuff. Um, and there's three ways that you can get rid of him, right? And uh, I fake it, I, I, I need to look for that video because it was a cracking one. Caspian report, go and check it out. Uh, he breaks it down and uh, basically they can't do two of them because he's not there and he can't, they can't do any of them because he's not there. So. It goes against the constitution, so legally speaking, against the legalese, it's illegal, right? So, <clears throat> it's whether the bureaucratic power wins over the people power, and I think the and if the EU is turned and the, it's, it's been proven, look at Albright passing out cookies and stuff. The, the Americans and the EU have been interfering in this crap. They are. They're, they're, they're setting the trap for their own downfall. They can no longer then, if, like, say, a big massive group of people in the UK or America turn up and will, want to overthrow, do the exactly same in Washington, D.C., number 10 Downing Street. Imagine we'd done the exact same there. there. They turned up with, with, with riot police and we just start hitting the riot police with petrol bombs and started shooting at them and stuff. And we just sat there and started a war until the government gave in and we, we, we could get David Cameron and we could murder murder him because that's what the people want to do to that guy Yanukovych. I, I, I don't, has he embezzled a lot of money? How many people has he killed? Does he get blood in his hands? I've not heard that stuff and he, I'm not going to lay that, sh that the stuff that happened during that riot at his hands. I lay that at the people that instigated that riot. They, they, like, they, they went against that, that and that. How can the, the riot police protecting government buildings be claimed to be the aggressor when they're getting hot with petrol bombs and getting shot at? How can the West turn around and even attempt to paint them as the aggressor? It is unfucking believable. And now they're saying that there's an arrest warrant for that guy. Unbelievable. Yeah, arrest them for like a, a arrest warrant for that guy, but let the, the the woman out with the fucking with the crown, <laughs> who's got blood on her hands and who's really corrupt as well. And I've actually heard that from my girlfriend, who's got. F Family who's in who's in Ukraine because but they are pro EU because of the Polish Ukrainians or the, the Ukrainians that come from the Polish side because the Ukrainian border has shifted and up and down left and right lots of times over the years that's why you have such a divided diverse left right to split left right to split um, now oh, I'm not even going to get down that argument it won't be worth it so uh, let's get on with this uh, uh, on Sunday the new parliament voted to appoint the freshly elected speaker um, as acting president of Ukraine the new regime <laughs> the new regime yes I love it everyone is, see if you watch 
He's flicked through all the channel. Everybody's a regime every nowadays. The Cameron regime. The, 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 the Putin regime. Honestly, everybody's a regime nowadays. It's so funny. It, what? It's just propagated out of control. The new regime immediately voted to strip Yanukovych of his powers, capitalising on his absence from the capital. The vote... F and, and vote for a snap election which will be held on May the 25th a day later on Monday Rada I think that's their parliament put President Yanukovych as uh, on the wanted list and the suspicion of involvement in mass killings due to the riots in Kiev that's unbelievable and do you know what I can actually see this guy getting arrested at some point turning up at the Hague and going like all oh, the rest of them just bullshit man uh, ousted President Yanukovych whose whereabouts remain unknown either decided to uh, decreed the decisions of the intern government as illegal and said the unrest in Ukraine capital bears all the hallmarks of a coup d'etat. Uh, technically, legally, legally speaking, that all these other motherfuckers, <laughs> Cameron, Obama, will try and protect and uphold in their own countries. Legally speaking, this guy is, this is going against democracy. This is, the, the last one was the it was a democratic, free, open election. This guy got voted in according to a constitution, of, even the constitution that reverted back to the 2004 one. They still need to impeach this guy. This guy needs to be in parliament to impeach him, so he's still technically the president because when he left, he wasn't dead or out of office. Fact. Go and check it out. Check out Caspian Report. Caspian Report. I'll need to find it and st I'll, I'll put it on my Facebook or something. Check out all the links below. I'll p make sure I link it in my Facebook or um, my Twitter or something as well uh, at some point because um, I want to go and rewatch it because I forgot the three ways that they can impeach him. This guy's good, man. Um, right, so on Tuesday, the hallmarks of President... Uh, oh, sorry, on Tuesday, the Ukrainian parliament rather voted in favour of fugitive. <laughs> yes! Fugitive! Well, she, she really is, man. She got done for, like, putting hits out on people. And that's why she was in jail, and then it was like, hey, man, fucking, you're out to get, you're cool now. She's a back in the gang, get her out of jail. It's like one mafia's fucking took over for her enough, another. This can this cannot go on. The people of Ukraine, and there, I think there is actually real people out there. Well, I know there is real people out there that have they've went to that capital for a real revolution, man. Um, they went there, but there's the, 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 a lot of them are, the, the, the real people, a lot of them are fallen or think the EU is the better option, which is a shame because ultimately they're going to get screwed and, 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 and it's going to cause a real tug of war and a real lot of bull crap in that country. People thinking about getting out, that's all I'm saying. There's people already that have places to go that are getting out. I know a few are going over to Poland and whatnot. Um, right, where was I? On Tuesday, the Ukrainian parliament I said that <laughs> the, the fugitive being tried uh, in international court, uh, being tried in international court in The Hague for alleged crimes against humanity during the recent peaceful protest. Uh, oh, sorry. Fugitive Yanukovych. I thought they were talking about the new one. Sorry, I get mixed up there. <laughs> Idiot. Sorry. My mistake, my bad. But thumbs it up anyway, even though I did make a big balls up at the end. <laughs> it's got to be worth comedy value at least. But Yanukovych, still president. Technically he is. Make up your own mind. Do not let RT tell you. Do not let the BBC tell you. BBC are going, Woo, peaceful protest. Look at the new government. Yeah, power to the people. Power to the people. But don't think about doing it in the UK or America. Because that's bad. I mean, I made a really, a really good damn um, analogy. London riots, Ukraine protesters. What's the difference? What is the difference? Ukraine rioters, jailed, sent through fucking kangaroo courts, fucking all sorts of people getting jailed for stealing bags of potatoes and all that. St really stupid ass stuff. And, and I'm not joking, I think there was somebody, was it a pa packet of crisps or a bag of potatoes somebody went to jail for? un -fucking believable we turned into a fascist Nazi state to deal with those rioters overnight because they dared, dared, dared to challenge the authority and then when it happens in fucking Ukraine they're turning up and go, here, have some cookies, have some cookies and under the table they're like, here's have some guns, shields, fucking training, fucking masks on you go, petrol, there's some bombs, go and throw some love petrol bombs at the, the riot police and we'll bring some democracy, we'll burn some democracy into them let's burn some democracy into them 
fucking idiots. Alright, YouTube, thumbs it up. Radio link.